Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now the annual Deep Blue Half Marathon returns to Soweto tomorrow morning. Uh, Sunday, the 23rd of October, this will see South Africa's twin queens of the uh, road, Diana Lebo and Lebukhang Palula, joined by uh, participant, participants rather for the 21-kilometer run, 10-kilometer run, 10-kilometer uh, walk, and a 5-kilometer fun run, starting from the corner of uh, Mukwena and Chris Hani streets in uh, Clip Spread. Llewellyn Allen uh, is the head of brands at Metropolitan, who joins us now to tell us more about uh, tomorrow's marathon. Llewellyn, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Let's give a background to somebody who may not know. What is the Deep Kloof uh, Half Marathon? It's, it's a great run. It's run by the Deep Kloof Athletics Club. Um, which are based in, in, in Soweto. And it's a run just through the township of Soweto. Um, you're going to see all different parts of Vilakazi Street, and you're just going to have a great day running through a part of Johannesburg that maybe not a lot of people know about, or people in Soweto know about, but we're trying to get the rest of Johannesburg to come out and, and, and see it and be part of it. Mm -hmm. Let's give the different runs. Uh, what's so to do? You've got a 5K for those people that just need to sort of get up and start moving. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a 10K walk for the ladies and the gents that have now got a bit further. You've got a 10K run, which is a little bit of a challenge. It's got a few nice hills in it just to, to make sure you're ready for it. And then for those elite runners or elite weekend warriors, you've got a half marathon. Mm -hmm. um, I believe the half marathon is very tough. I was told last night by one of the organizers that I'm going to have a good time running it. So there's some <laughs> tough hills in there. But it's, it's a good day out and it's a great training run before the Soweto Marathon. Yeah. Um, you've had to change the start venue. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we were originally starting at UJ Campus. With some of the issues, um, we just felt like we, we, we wanted to just be safe and secure. We've moved now to the Nike Training Center. It's 650 meters. Um, they're going to be signage, there's going to be signage up. So if people do go to the wrong place, it's very easy to di direct them up. The Nike Center is great. It's, it's, it's a great field. It's great. It's a great facility. It doesn't change the race. It doesn't change the vibe. It's all going to be exactly the same. It's just a little bit of a shift. Yeah. Let's talk about people that want to enter tomorrow morning. We know there are yes. those people. Yes, we do know. So let's start with today. So let's, if you're organized, today is the best place to start. You can head over to Maponia Mall between 10 and 2, or otherwise to the Nike Center. We're going to be there all day until 6 o'clock tonight, and also the Deep Cliff Hall. If you want to, tomorrow morning at 4.30, <laughs> um, you can be at the Nike Center, and we'll be taking entries on the morning as well. How many people are we expecting to take part? We're expecting about 3,500. We can go up, though. So mm. we don't want to stop people from coming. But 3,500 is the number that we think we're going to get to, which is great. It's 1,000 more, 1,500 more than last year. So we're seeing a great growth in this race. It's becoming quite popular in Soweto. People really care about it. And we've really tried to inculcate it into the community. And now we want to take it broader. All right, so I walk into Maponya Mall. What do you need from me? Uh, your name, ID number, and that's about it. Yeah. And some cash to enter, and then you're good to go. There's entry forms. They'll take all your details. There's some lovely ladies and gents that can help you sort it all out. Um, and, yeah, just, just come down and come have a great morning out in Soweto. How much are we talking about here? 50 Rand for your 5K, and then it goes up to about 85 Rand for your, your more expensive races. Pretty reasonable. It is pretty reasonable. Your half marathon is a bit more expensive. And if you need to get a temporary license, it, you, you, you just add on all these different costs. But you're looking at below 150 Rand for a morning out yeah all right so uh details for tomorrow morning one last time for people who uh, you know just woke up just woke yeah, up and it just caught this conversation right in the middle so details for tomorrow morning come to the nike training center in clip drift in soweto at 4 30 enter and have a good morning all right are you running tomorrow i will be running what time you look uh, yo, I would like to do a sub two, yeah. but uh, at altitude, I live in Cape Town, so I'll be very happy with a two-hour half marathon. I yeah. think it'll be a respectable Sunday morning start. And the Palula sisters, are we expecting them oh, to I just th dominate? I think we are. I think we are expecting them to dominate, although I believe there's some good competition. The club is telling me there's some great competition this year, so we'll see what happens. All right, Llewellyn, thank you so much. Thanks for having Enjoy me. Enjoy Jobek while you're still I here. Will, Llewellyn Allen is head of brand at Metropolitan, speaking to us about the annual half marathon. A Deep Loof Half Marathon, that's what it's called, uh, taking place tomorrow in Soweto. You can register today and tomorrow at the Nike Center out in Pimville. It's on Old Poch, so you won't get lost.